just on this right here alone. If the government is taking a third of your income, that basically means you're working from April, I mean from January to April for free every year. Because that's a third of the what? Of the year. So if you're giving the government a third of your money, you're also giving them a third of your what? Of your time. So from January to April, you're working for free. From May to August, you work for the banks. Because since the government took your money from January to April, you end up borrowing May to what? August. So now the banks took the other third. You start getting paid in September. So from September, October, November, December, finally you getting paid because that's the third that you got to keep. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not into waking up every day going to work just to pay taxes and keep the system going and going to work just to pay the banks back because I'm borrowing money. And then I struggle on what's left. And guess what? I haven't eaten yet or paid any bills. That's just what's left. Now we got to live off what's left. Let's, let's put some numbers in here. Let's give you a reality check. You make $50,000 a year. Salary. Off the top, government's going to take 18. So you take home 32. Now, because the government took 18, you go float the rest on a credit card. So you trying to get your 50 back, but you borrowed it. And you know what you borrow, you must pay back. So you gave 18 to the government. You gave another 18 to the banks, but you still feel like because you borrowed it, you feel like you make what? 50. But it's paper money. It ain't real money. It's paper money. So you got to end up giving it back. So in reality, we got to take another 18 off. So now you got to live off 14 off your $50,000 a year job. That's just the way it is. So now you got to eat, travel, and do everything else with this. That's why most Americans, when you jump in this game right here, the rat race began a minute.